Hello everyone and welcome to the very first video request tutorial. Uh, Fernando on one of my videos left a question for me and he said that, hey Jeff, I have a um, a score with a bunch of instruments and they need to clap or applaud at a certain point during their performance, during the piece. And he um, wanted to know how to do that and based on his comment he also sounds like he wanted to know also how to have it play back as well. Now getting something to work visually in Finale is really where Finale uh, strives the most because Finale really is geared towards engraving and uh, creating scores. But when it comes to playback it gets a little little fuzzy. It's more of a feature that gets more and more used and and um, pushed further and further along as, as time goes on. There's three ways of going about doing this, and Fernando himself is in Finale 2010. For everybody, I'm going to show you how to do this in Finale version 2009 and version 25, just so I can cover everything. I've got my virtual machine up here running Windows 7 that has 2009 here, and I'm going to be jumping back and forth between Finale version 25 and 2009. Most of this is going to be the same, but there's going to be some things that work in one version that don't work in the other. So let's get started. So because Fernando is in 2009, I'm going to, or 2010 rather, I'm going to start there. So let's go ahead and put in some music. What have you. And as you'll see later, be nice to our horn player right those big leaps and bounds so let's say you're in the piece and at this point you want to have the performer clap this rhythm so if you don't care about playback here is the first way of doing this it's actually pretty straightforward so you go into staff tool you go ahead and highlight the measure you want to have selected and what I would do is go to X note heads and these make them note those uh, X note heads. The next thing I would do is I would go up to expression tool and I would create, I'd go probably under technique uh, text and I would put clap. And if I want a border around here, you see where it says enclosure shape, you can select um, a shape that you want to enclose, like let's say for example a septagon you click edit and you can change the thickness, the opacity. Um, if you change the opacity, that means that this will be standing on top. It won't, nothing will be transparent. Nothing can show through this object. So let's just go ahead and leave it as is. Click OK and then put above there. Of course, you can change the shape if you'd like. And as we're going through here, what I would also do, <coughs> excuse me, is I would go up here and put play or something along these lines. Cl click OK and there you are. And if you really want to be clear you can even go here under this dotted line and then just dot it. Make horizontal just to indicate to be absolutely brutally clear of where they're clapping, what rhythms are clapping, so there's no mistaking it, for whatever, for the performer. That's just showing it. So if I play it, there's, there's no difference. It plays back exactly how you'd think it'd be played. Now it's important to have these X note heads in the center line. Uh, that's usually where the percussion notation usually takes place, right there, just to make it absolutely clear. That they're clapping. Anyway, this exact same thing can be done in Finale version 25, so I'm going to save some time and skip over that. Now, there's two other ways that I know of that um, that you can get it to play back. So let's, oh, I just erased it, so let's go ahead and write another uh, thing in here. be somewhat realistic. 
There we go. Okay. Let's don't need that. Okay. So we've got this so far. And again, let's say this is what we want to have uh, the, our performers clapping. So again, I would do the same thing as we said before. Go ahead and do X note heads and then have the word clap over there just as I showed you before. And this is going to be the hard, the hard way of doing it, more difficult way. So what you can do next is, let's see if I remember this, go up into, I mean to add another instrument. So to do that, we'll go to staff, staff tool, and under staff at the top, new staves with setup wizard, wow, with setup wizard. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go under ORF instruments for clap. It should be right there. Go ahead and add it, finish. And now we've got another instrument underneath it. So then what you would do is whatever rhythm is above the staff right up here, you just go ahead and add it right in there. Okay, so now if I play it back, Okay, so these both are now playing together. Pretty straightforward from now. So now what we need to do is we don't want to see clap. We want this to be gone. So what we need to do is go back into staff tool again, select the very first measure, and then you can press this button at the very bottom right here, which takes you to the very end. Very end, and then you want to hold shift on your keyboard and then this will only select the clap instrument. And what you want to do is then right click. Uh, then you want to go into and hide staff. And this didn't delete it. All this did was hide it. So when I play this back, you'll still hear the clap. As such. So now that we have that out of the way, we're on to the next step is to turn this sound off. This is where it's going to get a little bit different between versions. So what you'll need to do is go into expression tool, and I'm sure there's an easier way of doing this even so as well, but here, here we go. So what you'll need to do is what I do, create, uh, this, create something. I'm going to title this off. We're going to go into playback. And under here, we're going to go into key velocity and make sure this value is set to zero. The reason so, because key velocity is not necessarily how loud something is, but how loud the attack of the sound is, more or less. It's not necessarily the volume. So like for TCCCMO, for example, it's set at a value of 127. And as I walk the way down the dynamics, you'll see this value starts to uh, decrease. Okay, so basically the higher this number is, the louder or the higher, the louder the attack is, more or less. So we're going to go back in here and then select it. We're going to position this right there. And what this will do is this will basically tell this not to play, essentially. Okay. Perfect, we have that working for us. You could hear that immediately it stopped and then the clap came through. So now we need to re-enable it right here when the horn plays again. So we'll create another uh, expression. I'm gonna call it on. Again, playback and key velocity. You wanna match this key velocity value to the dynamic marking that you had um, before. So for example, Let's say we had, uh, let's do this. Let's say we had a mezzo forte, and you wanted to know, well, what value do I need to put for a key velocity? Well, just showed you. you go into dynamics. You go under where is it? Mezzo forte. And it tells you that the velocity is a value of 75. So that's what we're going to do. Create a new expression on playback. 
key velocity uh, set to value, we're going to match it as mezzo, uh, mezzo forte, which is a 75. And click OK and select. So what this will do, we're playing mezzo forte, this passage, this point. Um, this gets turned off, essentially. Nothing gets played in here. The invisible clap will play. And then right here, this will get re-enabled. And again, since the clap is resting, this will be heard. So let's go ahead and play that. And there you go. So that's kind of a long and runabout way of going about it. But um, this way works both on 2009 and on 25. On 25, it's a little bit different. Let me show you. Because in 25, you'll need to go into Score Manager to do this. So let's write our little cadenza, <laughs> so to speak. Okay, and second measure will be... Oh, actually, we want on the middle line just to make our lives a little bit easier. Let's make something rather interesting. Um, you know. Okay, same thing. We're going to go into X note heads under staff tool. Okay. Now, this is where things change. If you have Windows, you want to do Control and K as in ketchup. And instant and the uh, score manager, you'll want to go to add instrument, which is right here. And for the clap under all, it's going to be at the very bottom under percussion. Scroll down until you find clap, which is right here, and double click it. And then this is added. <clears throat> excuse me, this is added in here. Go ahead and close that, and now we have clap. And basically do the same thing. Just match the rhythm above here. And you'll notice in version 25, uh, I don't know how obvious this will be, but it, it snaps you to the middle line right here. So when you're on clap. And also it's using Garretin, so it's a little bit nicer of a sound, actually. And then the same thing. You're going to hide this by going to Staff Tool, clicking the first measure, going to the very end by either pressing this button down here, right there. Or you can also press end on your keyboard. Again, hold shift and then click the very bottom one. So only the bottom one is selected. Make sure this isn't selected otherwise you'll delete all of it or you'll hide all of it. Right click and then here's here's the tricky bit. You want to choose cutaway, you don't want to choose collapse. Here's what happens if I choose collapse. It actually collapses everything which is not necessarily what you want to do. Well, maybe it is, actually. On second thought, yeah, you do want to do that. Choose Collapse, because that hides both the staff and uh, gets the, the this out of the way, so you can actually manipulate that. So yeah, do choose that. Um, you can also choose the other option as well, because if you choose, hold on, let me just back up. <laughs> I just think about it. If you choose cutaway, this will indicate that it's still there. So, but by doing, there we go. By choosing the collapse, you're actually hiding it and getting it out of the way completely so you can reposition everything. So now we still have this clap that's going to happen right here. But still, same thing is going to be said. This is where things get a little bit differently. So we're going to go again into here. We're going to create a new uh, expression. I'm going to call it off. Go into playback. This time, though, because for some reason, key velocity, if I set this to zero, um, it won't... Key velocity. If I set this to zero, it actually, for some reason, won't recognize that this, is, this has changed. Let me show you. So this did absolutely nothing. I don't know why. So we'll need to change this. So wh what you'll need to do is go into Edit, Playback. Instead of Key Velocity, you want to go into Controller. And under this next menu right here, you'll want to go to Volume and set this value to 0. Click OK. 
assign, and now this will mute the top right here. And then as you expect, it'll mute from that point on. So to re-enable it, uh, you can probably see where I'm going with this. Create a new expression. We're going to call it on. Playback. Again, uh, controller under here. We're going to choose volume. And this is where things get a little bit guess or check kind of thing. So I'm going to choose 120. That seems to be a nice relatively good point. You have to mess around with this a little bit, this value. So 120 seems to work okay. We're going to assign it. So same thing in 2009. So as you can hear, maybe I can move that over right there. So you can see this is one way of working with it. Now this is a kind of a long process, but this works for both of these versions. The next method I'm going to show you, I can't figure out how to make it work for Finale version 25. However, I can make it work for Finale version 2009. So this is going to be a shorter method if you're using the default built-in general MIDI sounds in Finale. So let me show you. And actually, I don't know if you can collapse these now that I think about it. Can you collapse these? You can hide them. Mm, don't think it has the collapse option in here. Mm, nope. Okay. So you can't collapse this, this staff right here like you can in version 25. Some, some reason maybe to upgrade. So let's go ahead and start over. So let's get all this out of the way. Okay, so we're back to square one. So the second faster way on version 2009, but not on 2000 or uh, two, version 25, unless someone wants to be able to show me how this works. Here's the second way. So let's make those as such. And what we'll do is go into Staff Tool. And what we're going to do is we're going to... Now I'm thinking about it. What am I, what am I trying to do? No, oh, that's it. Sorry. Brain fart. Here we go. Expression Tool. We're going to, we're going to create two new expressions. And we're going to name this first one clap. Under playback, we're going to choose patch right here. Under GM, GM stands for general MIDI. So this is not going to include the ARIA sounds, or the Garrison sounds rather. You're going to find something similar. Now clap doesn't exist. Um, wood block I found works pretty well as a substitute, so I choose woodblock to substitute the sound for clap. So don't mess with all this, this I think is okay. Choose okay, select, so now, again, there's nothing underneath here, it's just one instrument. So now the same thing needs to be done over here. You've switched from the horn sound to the clap sound on the second measure right here is what we've essentially done. On here, we'll need to re-enable the horn because they're playing normally. So we'll create another expression and we're going to call it horn this time. doesn't really matter what you uh, name it. It's just to help you uh, know what instrument is being played. Again, under patch, we're going to find the horn, which I believe is 61. 61 right there. Click OK. And select. And now this should play horn. It should clap. And now it should re-enable the horn sound. And it does exactly that. 
This is uh, the faster way of doing this in version 20, 2009. This does not work, unfortunately, in version 25. The way I showed you how to do it in 25 is probably the best way of, of doing this. Now, the other thing you're probably wondering about is, well, this is cool, Jeff, but I mean, how do I get rid of these? I don't want this to be printed. Um, very simple. Highlight them with the expression tool. Right click on one of them and just uncheck where it says show. And it just, um, it fuzzes it out essentially. It makes it a little more transparent. It tells you on the screen, but it won't print out on the score. So this is just for letting you know personally. And on 25, or gosh, 2009, here we go. Same thing, exactly the same thing. Uncheck show. And, but it'll still play back just fine. And etc. So, so that's pretty much all there is to it. If someone does know an easier way of doing this, um, feel free to comment below. I, I'm always learning something new about Finale every day. Um, I'm definitely no expert on it, but I, you know, have used the program. I've troubleshooted it tons of times, and I hope this has uh, helped people um, a little bit. And I hope this. I hope this answers your question. I hope this is, um, Fernando, I hope this is what you were asking about. Um, if not, let me know in the comments below. If you like these, uh, if you want me to post more of these kind of videos, walking through how to do something kind of extravagant in Finale, um, absolutely I can do that. Um, and um, that should be all there is to it. If you like this video, if you found it useful and helpful, uh, definitely please leave a thumbs up that lets me know I'm doing a good job and giving you guys good content um, if you really want to see more of this uh, go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on finale or how to's or anything kind of strange um, and you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter at treble woofer on both the same same name and um, if you have any other personal questions you can definitely private message me I have no problem uh, getting back to anybody I'm open Whenever you need a question, I can, I'm here to answer it for you. I'll do the best I can. Anyhow, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next video.